Hello everyone, I'm Mark Snodgrass, and today I wanted to talk to you about how to use McDonald's Magic ETL to break up items that are in a list into individual items, one for each row, and maybe you don't know how many items are going to be in your list. Maybe there's one, two, ten. Um, this could be with orders with multiple parts in a column, or maybe you've got survey data with multiple responses in one field and you need to break those up so you can then make some visualizations off of that. We can show you how to do that dynamically in Magic ETL uh, with just a few simple steps. So let's get started. So here's an example of maybe some sample data. You've got an order, here's an order number, and then maybe here's all the different parts. In there, you've got eight or so different parts and in this order only has three parts. This one has two, this one just has one. But you wanna break those up into individual uh, rows. So you just have one part number, but you have the order number each time listed. So in order to do that, we can bring that into Magic ETL. So here's our uh, parts uh, data set that we were just looking at. And what we can do is break this up uh, with just a few steps. First thing we're gonna do is use a function called squash white space. So this is gonna trim not only the uh, any spaces at the end and the beginning of the data set, but if there's multiple spaces in things like two or three spaces in here, it'll just shrink that down to one. So it's just gonna clean things up a little bit for us. Next thing we're gonna do is figure out how many commas are in this data set. So the way we do that is figuring out what the length is of that string. In this case, that first one is 63. Then we're gonna figure out what the length is if we take away the comma. So we use the replace function and look for the comma and replace it with nothing. And then check the length. And we see the length is 55. And then doing the math between those two uh, formulas that, that we just uh, built is eight. So then we know there's eight commas in here. So we're gonna use that in just a second. And then we're gonna join that with uh, our numbered data set. And one, you can make up your own uh, list of incrementing numbers, but I'm just leveraging actually the Domo Dimension calendar data set. That's got some several incrementing numbers in here. One of them is the day of the month in here. You see this is going for January and so it's one through 31 in here. There's probably day of the year in here. So we've got one through 365 if your list was really long. Uh, but what I'm doing is just grabbing one month out of there because I know my parts list is going to be less than 30 items. So I'm taking a, just the current year and the first month, so January, and looking for that in uh, that date, date field. So I'm just grabbing one month worth of items and so then if we were to filter and preview, you see we only see January's items. So we got 31 rows we're looking for, and we've got this one through 31. Then I'm in this formula tile, I'm just taking that day of the year and subtracting one so that I can start with a zero because there may be no commas in that other data set. So that lets me start with a zero in here. And then I'm also doing a join key of one that I'm going to use here to join with the other data set. And then just to clean up some clutter, I've just got that join key that's repeating down. And then these numbers that are going down zero through 30 now. Now I'm going to join that with my parts and data. And we're just doing it on the join key. And that's just going to temporarily explode this data so that we're gonna have for each row, we're gonna uh, repeat 31 times in here. So each of these rows are now gonna be repeated 31 times in this join. So this got uh, kind of big for a minute, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna deal with that. Now our next trick is now to just bring that down. So then we're only repeating the number, getting the number of rows for the number of uh, parts that are exist. So if we, look at this configuration. I'm saying where that number field, which is from here, our auto incrementing, auto incrementing number is less than or equal to the number of spaces that we figured out over here or commas uh, in this instance. 
And so then we now go from 30 on each one to two or three or four or five um, items in here. So if we were to look at like 12, we'd only see that twice in this data set um, because now we've trimmed that down. There's only two items in here. And then now we are going to split this out dynamically. So the split part function is super handy. So we're going to look in the parts list for a, a space and we're going to um, look for the starting with the first one and then the second one because we're that number field is auto incrementing. So we're dynamically picking out which part we want out of here. So if we were to look at this over here, we see I'm getting 12 AB. This one, I'm getting 12 ADF. You can see that we're getting that each time. Then finally, we are just kind of clean, cleaning this up. So if we were to look at order number one, we first see 12 AB. And then if we scroll down, here, here's that second part that we're getting out of here. And then the third part we're getting out of here and so on and so forth. So that's how we can get that. And so then a cleaned up version of that looks something like this, where we've got the order number going down and then here's our eight parts. Order number two only had uh, three parts in it. So there's only three rows. This has got four rows. And you can see how we dynamically broke that up, uh, laying that off. So very handy, uh, be able to do this. Hope you found that helpful. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me uh, in the Domo community. Thanks a lot.